This is the trick sub table that will save your calculus too great. Check this out. When you are doing integral, if you see this part with square root of, let's say, a number a squared minus some f variable, let's say x squared, then what you want to do is you are going to say x is equal to a times sine theta. And then you are going to expect to use the fact that we know 1 minus sine squared theta will give you cosine squared theta. So keep that in mind. Next, what we are going to talk about is the square root. If we have a squared plus x squared, in that case, we let x equal to a times tangent theta. And you can expect to use that 1 plus tangent square theta will give you secant square theta. Now, if you have this reversed, square root of x squared minus a squared, in that case, you say x is equal to a times secant theta, and that is going to be secant squared theta minus 1 is equal to tangent squared theta. And it's this right here. Right, it's this right here. Aha. Uh -huh.